So a very good morning boys and girls, welcome back to another video, welcome to the channel if you see me for the first time. My name is Chris, I'm usually a landscape photographer, but for the last couple of weeks I've been more exploring the wildlife side of photography and I've been enjoying it, it's been something that I've found quite good fun. Um, Today's video has proved tricky to plan in a sense that, well you may know that the price of fuel has gone that way quite substantially and it didn't make much financial sense for me to drive halfway across the country, spend about 40, 50 pounds on fuel uh, for what is essentially a hobby. So I've come down to North Cave Wetlands. I was here a couple of weeks ago with the 7D and the 70 to 300. Today we've come back with the 7D and the 1 to 400. And we're just gonna see what's about and take some photos of some beds and just generally have a chilled out morning, a nice relaxed morning, no pressure, no worrying about lighting conditions, nothing like that. Just a nice easy day. So let's get stuck in and we'll go take some photos and we'll see what's around. Okay, so I've sat myself in a little bed hide, trying to pretend to know what I'm really doing here. Uh, if any of you have seen my content before, it's something I try to do semi-regularly is this wildlife stuff. I'm generally not very good at it, but I do enjoy it. So I've just sat in a little bed hide. There's some little beds on the water over there. I've been trying to get as low as I can to the water just to shoot across the beds rather than down on them or up at them, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to, uh, to get the angle that you want. So I've just been firing some shots off across the water. So I'll show you a little slideshow of anything I managed to get. Um, from that little burst of images and we'll move off and hopefully find something a little bit easier to photograph because I don't have the patience for wildlife photography at all. I never have. I enjoy it but I just don't have the patience for it so here's some images and let's go see what else is around the North Cave wetlands. All right, so just down there on the water behind me, there is a swan, so I'm gonna go and try and take a photograph of that. Uh, there's some reeds sort of between me and the swan, so I'm not gonna be able to get down as low as I would like to. So we are gonna have to shoot down a little bit onto the swan, which is a little bit less than ideal, but it's about the best I'm gonna get from this spot. So I'm gonna move down there and start firing off a couple of shots and see what I can get. So like I can see, just in front of me, there is this little bank of reeds. So I'm just gonna have to shoot over them, which uh, me being five foot six, it can, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. So let's have a look. It'd help if I turn the camera on, wouldn't it? So we're at a 1600th of a second, that's giving me F5.6 and a 200th of a second, an ISO 200, sorry, which is plenty fast enough for this. Hopefully we got a sharp one. Here's some images of a swan. And let's go see what else there is.
Okay, so let me talk to you for a minute about the lens and the camera that I'm using in today's video. So I've brought my Canon 7D along with me, an 18 megapixel crop sensor in there. It shoots eight frames a second, a magnesium alloy body. It's weather sealed, it's tough enough, and it's fast enough for this kind of wildlife photography. The lens that I'm using is my 100 to 400 millimeter f4.5 to 5.6 L lens. And on this body, it gives an equivalent field of view of a 640 millimeter lens, so it's plenty plenty reach for this wildlife stuff it's always far away it allows you to get a little bit closer to it so it's not the fastest lens in the world at 4.5 to 5.6 but 400 millimeters 5.6 it still gives you plenty plenty of background there to isolate your subject so i'm gonna go and move off now i'm gonna go walk around the side hopefully i'm gonna find some little songbirds to take photographs of because i always enjoy photographing the little songbirds it's always good fun so let's get around there and hopefully hopefully this light's gonna hang around because it's great light for this kind of stuff so let's go All right, so I'm going to answer a question that crops up in conversation quite regularly, and it's something that I've often shied away from, but well, here it is. Um, do I make any money from my photography? Well, I do and I don't. Not a lot would be the answer. Um, the vast majority of my images um, go on stock photography websites like Getty and Shutterstock and places like that. So the best way I can describe that to you is it's like iTunes, but for images. So you upload something, people pay a monthly subscription, and whenever they download one of your images, you'll get a slight cut of the pie. Um, that's where all the wildlife stuff goes, all the macro stuff and all things like that. The landscape stuff, uh, that's more for me. Uh, I don't really sell that anywhere. I don't see the point in prints at the minute. I think we live in a digital age, don't we? We live in a world where people are on the mobile phones, their iPads, the laptops, and everything like that. Everything you see these days is digital, so everything of mine is sort of geared towards that world. Um, I don't have a printer that I'm capable of printing images with, so I don't make money through prints. And when I do sell prints, I, I don't really charge a lot of money, five, 10 pounds. I don't really see the point of charging exuberant prices for something that is essentially a hobby for me. Now, the YouTube channel is monetized, so whenever you see a video or see an advert in a video or in front of a video, I do earn a little bit of money from that. Usually it's about 1p or 3p. It pays about 40 pounds a month, which essentially covers the petrol, which I'm more than happy with, but Again, there's not a lot of money in this. It's more fun, it's more a hobby. Okay, so the final spot for me today, I've popped into one of the last hides on the way back to the car, and I'm just gonna fire some shots out of this window and just see what I can get a photograph of. Um, Today's been one of them days, I think. There's not an awful lot about, as regards to the things that I did come to take photographs of. There's a lot of beds on the water, but the water is quite far away. And even with the 7D and the 100 to 400, it's still a bit of a stretch. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna fire some shots out of this window and see what we can see. And then probably, probably wrap the video up from there. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 